Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey, if you are already subscribed, hey, thanks for coming back. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my October favorites. I know it's already November. Yes, it's November, but I still wanted to bring you guys an October favorites and some of the things that I was loving in October. The first thing that I want to show you guys is um, the first couple of things is skincare. My skin is combination oily, so I tend to get a lot of breakouts, a lot of acne marks, like especially on this region of my face. And I've gone through everything trying to figure out what is working, what is going to work, what could help, and spent a ton of money on a ton of different products. And so I think I found something that's starting to work for me. And so I'm kind of, you know, really digging it and I just want to show it to you guys. The first thing I want to start off with is this Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Toner. Um, so this is it right here. I use this every day after I cleanse my skin I usually go in with the toner and after I take off my makeup I go in with the toner just to remove any of the residue that might have got left behind So this is just um, pure original witch hazel um, And I use this as the second step in my skincare routine when I'm cleansing so I cleanse go in with the toner um, and then moisturize so I've really been loving this stuff. And you can find this at Walmart. I know at Walmart, this is where I get mine from for like $5. It's very inexpensive. And it's a 16 fluid ounce. So this will last this you forever. Mario Badesco Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. Um, I was just using, what was I using before? I can't remember. I think it was like Cetaphil cleansing soap. Um, so I still use the Cetaphil, but I use this every other day or every two days. Uh, because it's a glycolic acid, you don't want to put this on your face every day. But I do use it every other day or every two days. And I find that it works pretty good as far as keeping my breakouts at bay. Um, my skin is horrible it's absolutely horrible so i get a ton of breakouts and i just feel like this has been helping me with my breakouts and not getting so many of them and just kind of keeping them you know at a minimal so this stuff is great i think i'm gonna go and get the whole line of skincare just because i really do like it and this is a six foot ounce i got mine from ulta this was and about six show you guys that um has been my favorite i think i did a video a few weeks ago where I was talking about bronzers for brown brown skin and not being able to find any and I was using one in one of my get ready with me's it was the Palladio and this is the matte bronzer this is in the color teeny bikini this is a very I was just so sick of using like covergirl ebony bronze and I picked this up at Sally's this is what it looks like this is a perfect shade for brown skin as a bronzer. I'm wearing it on my face today. It just gives a nice subtle bronze. It doesn't give you, and it's matte, it doesn't give you any glow at all. Um, and it's just really nice. It's very inexpensive. This was like, I want to say $10. You get, let's see if I can see how much you get. You get 0.35 ounces, so it's a pretty nice amount. Again, I'll show it to you guys again. Looks just like this, and it's a matte bronzer. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Packaging looks like this, standard MAC packaging. Um, and I use the color Dark Deepest. This is what it looks like in the inside. I use this just to set my face after I... Um, do all my makeup. This is like the last touch. This is the finishing touch. I just use this. It looks like that on my finger. And if you want to see it swatched, it blends in very well. So you really can't see the difference. It just blends in. Um, this stuff is like miracle powder. I absolutely love it. The last thing that I want to show you guys was my honorable mention because I didn't have a whole lot of. Sorry if you guys hear background noise or my daughter <laughs> in the background. Yeah. Sorry. So the last two things that I want to show you guys were a couple of pieces that I picked up from the um, MAC Nutcracker Sweet Collection. 
Now, this collection launched, I want to say last week, and they have a ton of stuff. They have lip kits, mini lip kits, lip gloss kits, eye kits, brush kits. They have almost anything you can think of. The packaging is absolutely adorable. However, I only picked up a couple of things because I just, I don't know. I feel like I had a lot of those colors in my collection. And even though the packaging was gorgeous, I just I just got what I thought I would use and things that were going to be unique to my collection. Um, so the first thing I want to start off with is this MAC. It is called a Magic Dust Powder. It looks like this. Packaging is gorgeous. It's purple with pink stars. They really did a great job with packaging this year. And inside, it has the cutest, the absolute cutest, cutest compact. Compact looks like this. It's got hot pink on the top and the front. And then in the back, it is purple. And it just says um, Mac Magic dust powder and I have it in the color sweet vision there was two colors of this there was a pink one and then there was this peachy color one and I thought the peachy color one was just absolutely gorgeous it is like a pink peachy type of um powder with like gold sheen if you can see that and it's got gold around the packaging isn't that so freaking cute um and it just looks like this I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys I haven't even swatched it I swatched it in store. So it looks like that on my finger. And I'll go ahead and swatch it. So it just looks like this on my skin. I thought this would be like a really pretty like blush topper. It's very, very pretty. It's like a peachy gold sheen. So I'll probably use this on top of like um, a blush or even blend it in with my highlighter. At any rate, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think it's very cute. And the compact is super cute. The second thing that I got was one of their um, Nutcracker Sweet Lip Gloss Kits. And I got the new lip gloss kit. It looks like this. It's got the stripes and it's got like, this is supposed to be like a Nutcracker hat. So imagine like a face underneath this. And it looks like that. Um... It has like a little gold detailing um, detailing here and it's like a little drawer you guys look how cute this is looks like that so it just slides out like a little drawer so super cute if you were to get multiples of these you could stack them up and make them look like a drawer so super cute so it comes with four different shades and I will go ahead and if I can, I will swatch these for you. So the first shade that I'm going to swatch, and packaging looks like this. So it's just, these are cream sheens. There's three cream sheens and one dazzle glass in the new kit. The first one that I'm going to show you guys is a cream sheen. The color looks like this. This is in the color Fashion Whim. And it's just this really pretty nudie peach color very very pretty i'll go ahead and i'll swatch it on my hand the wine just looks like the typical doe foot applicator and i'll go ahead and swatch it i haven't even played with these like on the lips yet but here is the swatch right here this is um gosh i can't Fashion Whim. Really pretty nudie peach color. Perfect to go on top of like a nude lipstick or maybe line your lips and then put it on. Second color is Pure Delight. This one is also like a nudie color, but this one has more pink tones in it and it's got some glitter in it. This is also a cream sheen. Again, the color is Pure Delight. Same type of applicator. This is very pretty. I don't know, it's just the wand doesn't pick up a lot of color. I don't know. So, this is what it looks like on my hand. This is in... 
don't know. It's not really picking up. I'm kind of losing a little bit of light to you guys. So if you can't see it that good. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. It's more of a peachy nude, I would say this is. But it has like small gold reflex in it though. The third color that I'm going to show you, this is the one dazzle glass in the packet. It looks like this. And this one is in the shade Prancing Dancing. I'll go ahead and swatch that. And this one has a brush tip applicator like Dazzle Glasses usually come. Allows you to get a whole lot more on the brush though, which I like. Looks like that. It's like a pinky color with a bunch of glitter in it. Um, this I would use to top over lipstick and then the last color that I have to show you guys is a cream sheen And this one is in the color Nutty and naughty This one is a mauvey pink color very very pretty. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one It does have some glitter in it, but not too much and I'll go ahead and swatch that one for you guys Very 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 pretty pink color and it looks like this. So, here it is here. My lighting is just not that great. But here it is here. They kind of all blend in with my skin tone just a little bit. Or it could just be my lighting. Because in person, I can see them very well on my skin. I'll try again to get a close up for you guys. At any rate, these are super pretty. Um, the prices on these were... Prices for everything was pretty much around $35, $40. There were a few things that were a little bit more pricey. Um, the compact was $28 for the Magic Dust and $35 for the lip gloss kit. They also had miniature lip gloss kits, like I said, brush kits. They had separate lip gloss. They had separate lipsticks with limited edition packaging that were really pretty. But these are the only things that I felt like I didn't already have in my collection and that I would get use out of. I didn't want to just get it just to be getting it. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video.